Alrighty fam, welcome back to another video. So it's here, I'm talking about it slightly late, but that's what happens when it gets released over my midnight and then I have to get up and go to work and stuff like that. So we're going to talk through the new patch details for the new Tower of God, I think it is called, uh, anime uh, cross, cross collaboration, collab, the collab banner. It's, we're talking about the collab banner is what I'm trying to get at. So we'll go through obviously all the characters and stuff like that and then we'll jump into the actual patch notes and, and so on and so forth. So these are the three new characters we have. I haven't seen or read about anything that they do. To be honest, this is the first first kind of look I'm having. So these are the new characters. Oh, I'm down at the bottom. Me. There we go. Three new characters. As I think it's always three new clubs. Three new characters with collabs. I do have the skills trends. Like, we're just going to jump straight into this. So I don't actually even know the name of these units. That's how bad it is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Jubior Grace, Princess of Zahan, Yuri Sonata, Hidden Floor, and Zahad Dada. Okay. I really should know this. But anyway, let's get stuck into it. I don't know I don't know anything about this anime. So I'm, I'm fresh to this. I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about here. So I'm sure you guys will educate me in the comments below. But basically, okay. So this is a PvE unit. Makes sense. There's always one, right? At the start of battle in PvE, apply Power of Thorns to the unit. And when the Power of Thorns is removed from the unit, rank up the unit's cards. Also, when Power of Thorns are removed for the first time, increase allies' base stats by 20%. Power of Thorns increase allies' damage by 20% and decrease allies' damage take by 20%. Okay. That's kind of cool. So I wonder, I, I presume it's just going to be a, a red debuff? Or like a, a red debuff. I am so tired, fam. It's going to be a just a buff, I guess, right? So when the, when the buff is removed, we get the basic stat increase. Uh, decreases defense related stats of one enemy of 40% for three turns and afflicts damage to 30%. Okay, so defense related decrease and as a single target moves debuffs from all allies, increases basic stats by 30%. Okay, so this is literally uh, another Kizune, basically. What's a increase allies stat related buffs by 1.5 of their values in PvE is their holy relic. Damn. So if you have a 30% incre ally increase, then that suddenly becomes 45? Plus, if you have Power of Thorns, like, decreased, you increase basic stats by another 20%. We have a 65% basic stat increase. What? Uh, and then there's a set, okay, and then it's a sever, it's a sever alt, which will also um, apply Power of Thorns. I mean, I know it doesn't work in Demonic Beasts, and it doesn't work in PvP, and it's only PvE, so it doesn't, it won't be that broken, but that sound, <laughs> sounds, if I can stop coughing into the microphone, sounds pretty damn broken. Um, okay, wow. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next one is for every human ally participating in battle, increase human allies basic stats by 5%. Whenever the hero uses a skill or when a human ally takes damage from the enemy's skill usage, apply Shinsu of Rose for four turns to that enemy when the hero uses a skill and that enemy that's max stacks, applies a debuff that seals all target attacks for one turn. So it's minus 10%. Okay, so basically in short, if you use a skill... Or we take damage we apply shinsu of rose to that enemy they get three stacks minus 30 percent damage and then there's a debuff and it's okay and there is a aoe attack as well cancel buffs and stances on all enemies and inflicts damage equal to 210 percent cancel stances on one enemy so i'd be curious to see whether this is a cancel stance card on level one because that would be nice Cause you could even run this in. I mean, you could run all of this in a in a dogs team, right? Technically, interesting. More humans buffs. That's actually hold on. That's really good. Wait a minute. If it increases, that could actually work quite nicely for a human team. We're gonna have to try it. Increases allies' critical defense and resistance by thirty percent. Okay, this this girl is one hundred percent a humans buffer. One hundred percent. Like, applies three stacks of Shinzu Rose to one enemy for four turns and for cleave damage. Yeah, there's no way she's not right. Like, this is literally what she's there to. Sorry, fam. She's there to literally buff humans. Increases the crit defense and crit resistance. We increase basic stats. I am really keen to try her out. To be honest, this is actually going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping it'll really... I mean, who'd you put it on? Or oh, who'd you put on instead? I suppose you'd use her instead of Barn? I guess and maybe Arthur in the back and you become very tanky I guess we'll see okay at the start of the battle applies mark of stability to the hero this these passives have become so long it is insane 
At the start of the battle, apply a mark of stability to hero for one turn, and when the buff is removed, Shinzu's power is applied to hero for one turn. And Shinzu, I'm sure I'm butchering this as well. I'm sure I'm sorry. Shinsui's power is removed. King's resolve is applied to hero for five turns. In addition, every other un oh, so this is an unknown unit now as well. It's an unknown unit. Mark of stability decreases unknown allies' damage taken by thirty percent. All unknowns are becoming stronger again. For one turn, and when the buff is removed, Shinsu's power is the hero's HP cannot go lower than one. The hero uses a single target attack and doors. King's Resolve, for every 1% of decreased HP, increased critical damage of the hero by 1%. When using AoE, attack increases critical chance by 100%. Wait a minute, this is... what? Hold on. Chance by... great. Grants damage increase upon the rank of the skill used. I need to read this again. At the start of the battle, applies Mark of Stability. Now, Mark of Stability decreases unknown allies' damage taken by 30%. So you get a 30% damage decrease. And when that buff is removed... His or hers or whatever it is, hero cannot go lower than for one turn. They cannot drop below one HP. And then when that's removed, you apply King's Resolve. And then in addition, every unknown ally in the battlefield increases the hero's basic stats. So this guy, okay, what's what's the attacks? Inflict spear shine damage equal to four hundred percent. So spear shine's three times pit rate, rate increase. 40% attack when using the skill. And then you have a spike card as well. Applies a buff that increases critical damage by 150% to the hero for two turns and inflicts seven damage for one turn of the heroes. And then whenever mark of stability, and this is a holy relic. I'm, I'm walk talking through this because I feel like I'm focusing on this forever, but this just, there's so much going on in this, this unit. Hold on. Holy relic. Whenever the mark of stability, Shins of Power and King's Resolve is removed from the hero, moves all debuff effects applied to the hero. This guy sounds insane. Like, maybe I'm just misreading this, or like, there's so many different abilities this guy has. So you have a real, a, sounds like a really decent single target. You have a spike AoE. You have a buff that apply, and you can't drop below one HP a whole bunch of different times. You get decreased damage, increased stats. These two are gonna be fun. These two are gonna be very, very fun. I think, anyway, like, this is, this is pretty, this is just basically buffing humans, so I'm keen to see this, but this just sounds like, I mean, what do you do, this tier hell? And then the back Nanashi? I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm keen to give this a go, this sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, that's the new units, we've talked through it, I'm actually gonna see if I can, hold on, I'm gonna turn off the sound here, because it's always so loud. So let's see. Eh. Boring. No, that's not. That's not anything to do with it. Where are the other ones? Oh, oh, oh I'm jumping around. Oh, did I just get rid of it? Oh, I just got rid of it. Okay, hold on. Hold cooler, fam. Hold cooler. Okay, we gotta try that again. <laughs> let's open this up. Let's get rid of the sound again. This is the human buffer chick. Like a gun or something. Okay, a little bit cooler. Uh, and then lucky last. This is the guy I'm actually super curious about. This is the one that's super interesting. He looks insanely strong. And I kind of dig the ultimate too. I think he's probably going to be my favorite from this collab. Cool design and stuff as well. Okay, cool. There's all the multipliers and stuff. I won't spend too long kind of cruising through that. Um, this is the banner. The banner doesn't look too bad. I mean, this is going to be a T fair. I just, I, I saw this banner before I did this video and I didn't know anything about the details of these, but it makes so much sense why these two are here. Like you want Tia with this guy and you want Roxy with this girl. Like it's just, it's stock standard, right? Um, Freya, cool red Freya. I'd like a small dupes for her. I mean, the, the banner's pretty mid. The only thing, oh. <laughs> Sorry fam, this video has been a bit all over the place. Um, the only thing you really want is like these top five, right? Like these are all fine and good and helpful and well, I mean, this is nice. Yeah, the rest of this, like Tristan's kind of good to have for goddesses, I guess. But the rest of this is all like whatever, like you really want, yeah, you pick, you pick one. But I mean, yeah, I'm very curious to see, like I'd obviously want these two, I think. So I'm hoping I pull one of them in the summons and then 
Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's keep cruising through the uh, patch notes and let's have a look at what else is there. So, yeah, there's all the, the um, Holy Relics and stuff we already touched on. All the packs and stuff you can buy. <laughs> All the packs and stuff you can buy. I've, re I've I've contemplated starting this video about 10 times again, and I do apologize, guys, but I'm like, this is just a real me. I've just had a massive day at work. Um, I don't I wanted to do this video, so we're here, and I can't stop yawning and all the takes I'm doing, so I do apologize. Uh, much love to you all, but we're, we're, we're getting there. More packs, that's fine. Um, event reward, okay. Oh, three free multis. That's kind of clean. We're about that life. That's nice. That'd be three free multis in two days and then a whole bunch of gems. That's actually pretty solid. That's very, very solid. Four free multis and a 90 step up coin. Wow. Okay, that's really good. Got the bingo. Oh, roulette. Sorry, should I say? Whatever you want to call it. Yep, outfits and holy relics. As expected, that's always going to be the way, right? Collaboration special box reward. All this stuff's pretty normal for a collab, right? Like there's nothing too kind of crazy here. Oh, we got the new boss. That's cool. So, okay. His name's Sahad. That's cool. He's Dada. So there'll be a boss for this. We'll obviously do a guide and a run through and all that kind of good stuff on it. It's all the usual things. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, all the usual kind of rewards and stuff that we get from these. Um, outfits, headpieces. Okay. More, so we should have enough. I think we should get three for all of them. Um, so it should be enough holy relic materials. Special tower of trials. I mean, is this this is just the event tower of trials, right? Surely. So yeah, this should be good. This is good just for resources. Like pump through this, put on the one ultimate or something. Put on your favorite team and just smack your way through that. Yeah, there you go. All of this is great. This is really nice. Another holy relic material piece. Is that a, that's a true awakening star. That's kind of cool take those oh chaos pvp is back this is always fun as well okay this is actually gonna be a pretty sick update this is a pretty solid update multiple cool new characters one that's going to work for humans one that's going to work for unknowns to bring them back up a little bit we're going to have pvp chaos we've got a, an event boss we've got a whole bunch of free multis this is looking pretty good a couple of costumes again this doesn't really apply to too many people those that one's sick Face mask. I'm a big fan of that one. That one's really cool. Uh, this one, I think I like the classic one. Like this one's almost like a. This reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast. This part. Um, ooh, oh, this this night one is awesome. This one here is really cool. This is pretty cool too. But this one's my favorite. Um, you can obviously buy them and stuff like that. Um, Event reward. Oh, so if you spend 900 gems, you get everything and a holy relic thing. We'll see. I'm definitely going to do one, at least one rotation. I don't know if I'm going to do two or uh, at least like one, one and a half to get that. I don't think I'm even going to need it, to be honest. Yeah, so there's four. There's four. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at myself. I'm sorry, fam. Uh, there's four. Um, uh, Holy Relic boxes is what I'm trying to bloody say. Jeez Louise. Uh, collaboration characters. Oh yeah, cool. So you can change the collaboration character as usual. The event exchange with King. I actually really need these for Glocks. Um, and all the usual stuff. Wait, is that? Yeah, this is not normal. This is, yeah, this is all the usual stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Hawk Pass. What's on the Hawk Pass? Anything? Oh, new melee weapons. New melee gear. That was quick. He got that outfit quick. That's insane. Um, new for Valenti. Uh, okay, cool. For Hawk. Sport Solgris, as always. Uh, special and seasonal characters added. So these are have been added to the Hero Arena makes sense that's gonna make it hopefully pretty easy as well for unknown teams and stuff like that uh this is exciting this is exciting i'm really looking forward to this so i mean we have a whole bunch of new collab units we've got a whole bunch of new holy relics of course we've got the new bosses we've got a whole bunch of free multis for everyone tower of trials 
uh yeah this is a pretty solid update fam at least in my books you guys let me know what you think down below please also throw shade at me for yawning and breaking and just not being able to speak properly um hopefully you can appreciate me jumping on and doing this video um but i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know your thoughts on the the collab down in the comments below and uh we'll go from there so thank you so much for watching and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers